Hey man, what the business is, your main man T1, no compromise records, you in the field with the track stars, so y'all stay tuned, yeah. Yeah, back in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Alright, today we are going to be talking about, I'm, I'm just naming this, I may change it, don't hold me to this, Kardashian yeah. Christianity. We had a whole topic, old topic, called Kanye Christianity, That's I think it's on the Pro app, you can listen to it. So we're going after Wifey? Yeah, but just just because the recent <laughs> statement about her wanting to start a Bible study yes. or whatever. So yes. basically, the real topic is celebrity Christians, like um, people who are celebrities that you wouldn't necessarily know they were Christian, but then they say they are Christian. So, right. how much credence should you give to that? How much should you follow them? You yeah. know that kind of thing. And is it forgivable? The things that they've done or said that have not been um, that don't line up with the Word of God. Like, should you? I gave this example. I, I was getting ready to give this example. Um, and the break If Kim Kardashian starts up a Bible study group Right And it's great It's going really well Right But then Five years from now They're like Yo It's the anniversary of your mix Of your sex tape coming out oh, Nobody's gonna do that I'm just asking the question I'm asking the question <laughs> She did and she that says, a mixtape? And she said No 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 I said her sex tape <laughs> <laughs> and she says, oh, what do you need me to do? <laughs> you know, and they say, hey, we want you to come out and sign a couple of copies, a couple of thousand copies of it. You know what I mean? Like, Well, first off, to defend her, um, I don't think she, I don't think she's she's trying to actually run from that. I don't think she's trying. Did she to, ever embrace that? I thought she. I think it's mystery around that. Yeah. She, you know what she, mean? It's she she cashed the check. She did she embrace that. She did the check. <laughs> she didn't she get that check, the check. So I don't know. I don't know what 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 to say. Um, and then going the back to that, it's like that's like somebody bringing back your past. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's almost like you know what I mean, like somebody you see at the old, like you've seen years that you remember you at old hot and be like, Yo, Ryan, blue flame and that. What's up, baby? <laughs> yeah. You looking like what are you talking about? And they saying in front of a bunch of people, and you like. What are you talking about? You know, I man, back in the day, me and you, ones, twenties, come on, let's go. Let's go. So let me clear that up. I never did that. Thank oh. you. Because Jeremiah's just like, first of all, Jeremiah's like, you remember, you remember. No, nah, nah, no I'm just happened. saying, I mean, that's the, if it the did, feeling, yeah. it would be all right. You figure. But because you can tell that person, hey, I've changed, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the reason why I said that about her is because based off what is perceived from they put out on their show is like she's not like I'm about that no more I don't want I don't first want to be of all with that. it would be terrible to hold her to what she did in the past absolutely it would be terrible to do that yeah if she really had a, a change of heart and she changed we should wait and see if it's legit or not right, right? you shouldn't judge her yeah. based on oh she did a sex tape so right. you she not a cri- not true so that's not what a, that and that's not where I'm coming from of course but I'm saying if these people go back in the direction away from where they have been or the way that they've been trailing or trending and you see them are you supposed to be able to support everything they do even if it's not lined up with the word so basically we talk about Justin Bieber we talk about Justin Bieber all the time he says he's a Christian right um but just recently as what three weeks ago he puts out a picture tweets out a picture of himself or puts it on Instagram of him doing something with a stripper See what I'm saying? So it's just like, is are his Christian followers, the people who follow him that are Christian, are they supposed to be able to listen to what he says when he when he gives a Bible verse and the word, and then also support him through everything else he does? But well, Sunday he went to church, Ryan. You keep. You keep. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it was Saturday night, so that morning, that same morning, he probably went to church. But but I'm saying like, I, I, and then even with Rihanna, right? Then Rihanna send out tweets. She does. So, okay, let me ask y'all this. Is it because we don't see everybody normal lives who are Christian? And let's say if somebody who is, like, let's say somebody who is in the strip club on Saturday night and then they go to church the next day, um, is it something that they're, like, we don't see them, we don't contradict them? Is it because these people are in the limelight? And well, yeah, of course, it? everything they do is going to get captured. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, the, the old girl in, in the third row, she may do it too, but you would never know. Yeah. So, um, I think there's a couple things. First of all, if Car- Kim Kardashian, if she got saved and this happened like Tuesday, um, you wouldn't expect her to be living completely good now. You know what I mean? You just like a normal Christian in your daily life, you gave your life to Christ. You start seeking out the truth and you start getting deeper in your word. The difference is that she's on TV and you can see every flaw that she has. And then when she gets backlash, 
the tendency is to defend yourself and just be like, well, forget y'all. I'm going to do me. So the question is, are we wrong for judging her just by watching, just by looking from the outside? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'll throw some names at you or people who say they're Christians. Uh, Megan Good. Do you think she's more of a Christian than Kim Kardashian? I don't know if I can say that. I mean, <laughs> um, she, she, she married a pastor, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. So I'm, 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 I'm assuming the Bible's getting cracked. We won. I'm assuming the Bible's getting cracked. Yes. <laughs> he said, kindly. I don't know. Kind of. I, so. I don't know. Um, what about um, Mary J. Blige? Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's not what I'm judging, though. I'm not judging anybody. What are you judging? Because the show, the, you, everything Where you see. Where does the word judging even come in? I didn't if, say the word judging. The, the, stuff you you see, said that. the stuff you're seeing on the show. Yeah, is four months ago. Yeah, no, so if, if some change, I'm just saying, no, if something changed in her you life, you missed the whole yeah. point of my question. My, the point of my question is that Christian followers that are following these people. Yeah, and then they're doing Bible study, they do something, but then they go do something else. What are those Christian followers supposed? Uh, okay, to Okay, for example, this is a good example. It's like back in the day. Remember when um, Kurt Franklin he had something where R, R. Kim and R. Kelly did a. They, R. Kelly was on a song with him, and R. Kelly. Was telling him that you know I'm ready to go, I'm changed, and woo 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 boy. He was telling the world like it was a big article and vibe back in the day of him like I'm about to do gospel, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then he he just went but back. He you know denied that article. You know what I mean? He so, did. but he was like, I ain't say that. I but I mean, but the the question is, and I remember Kurt Franklin was they asked Kurt Franklin about that, and it was like he was like, well, I didn't know, I didn't have no idea that this dude was working on something totally different than what he told me. So the question is like, do are we are we not like, are they not? The number one thing is, are they being discipled? Because the I think that's the number one question. Because discipleship changes your patterns of life of like, you know what I'm saying? Because if I say I'm a Christian and my life is not being discipled to a place where I'm getting to know Christ even more, then I'm just left alone on my island. So of course I don't know what's really right from wrong as a baby Christian. I don't know. Um, what to do? I, I'm, you know what I'm saying I can read the Bible, but I may, I may not understand it. So if nobody's really pointing into me, then how you expect me to move? You know the, what I mean? The real honest answer to your question is: you shouldn't be following after anybody like that that you see on TV. The person that should be discipling you is somebody that you know that you can see walk every day. You shouldn't be following after any of these people. You shouldn't be following after us. But you when shouldn't I say really follow, I'm not talking about. Follow. I'm talking about like. Twitter. I'm, that's what I'm like saying. That. But I'm talking about following. That's like, what I mean. You shouldn't be following after anybody like that. Even us. I'm not talking about that. Though. What are you saying? Let me let me get you. I mean, what I when I what I said originally, like when they see them go into this direction and then they fall back, are they supposed to still support them and everything else they do? No, but what I'm saying is, is that like okay, if you if you're following. Um, Justin Bieber or Kim Kardashian, they say they put out a uh, Bible verse. What do you mean by follow? Do you mean I mean it, listen to the music, it, com- support it? Like I mean, you know, a lot of times I don't know how, how most Christians are, but for me, I won't support somebody who's not doing what you know. Well, I, I think I, is lining up with the word. That's that's, that's kind of, I guess that's kind of what I mean. Like yeah. you don't know if anybody is really doing this. Yeah. You don't know if Lecrae is really doing this. You don't know if we're really doing this. Yeah. My my caution is be careful who. Ever you follow and support everybody, you should really begin your actual direction from the Bible and people that you can actually look at. You don't get to see us when we leave here. We could be crazy. You have no idea. So be careful when you follow yeah. after people mm-hmm. that you don't know. So any celebrity or any personality on TV or anything, you don't know them. Um, of course, there's a, there's people who are a little bit more obvious about who they really are. And I think that's what this topic is really about. The thing, I guess, because we talked about Kim Kardashian, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But Kanye is a little different. He advertises what he believes a little bit more. Jay-Z advertises what he believes a little bit more. And somebody who says something completely opposite of what they say on another time, that's somebody you could say that don't line up. They, they not somebody that you should really listen to wholeheartedly. But my real caution is, even if they are somebody that seems like they match up, still don't pull every your life from these people. They're not yeah. worth that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now we got our man uh, Seiko uh, Woods weighing in. He says, um, the world laughs at the church and professing Christians on reality TV acting like unbelievers is the reason why. He said, um, let 
Kim Kardashian produced the fruits of righteousness before she decides to do anything related to Christianity. She says regeneration should precede regulating a Bible study class. Choices have consequences and some are perpetual. Forgiveness doesn't mean people will forget. That was in response to uh, Chris Brown earlier. Wow. So, I mean, he, he had a lot to say about this, but man. What about, what about sanctification? Sanctification. Yeah, well, that's that's kind of my point, man. It's, it's, it's two things. What Ryan is basically trying to say is, is that how can you really trust that these people are Christians when they say they do something totally different than what they just happen to mention in a tweet about, oh, I, I'm following Jesus now. Yeah. I mean, how can you really trust that? But at the same time, for that person, you got to give them time to go through their process because what you can end up doing by criticizing them from afar so much that you, you may get them to be like, well, forget this. Why am I doing this if everybody in it is is yelling at me? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm not even gonna go down the path of of, of sanctification if that's what I'm gonna end up being. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why we got to be careful on both sides. The followers need to be careful, and the people who criticize we need to be careful too because we could be driving away yeah, a true. Kanye, a Kim Kardashian. These these are people too. We yeah. treat them like they're so high up there that who cares what happens to them? Right. But these are people too. We now, we need to uh, now, now worry the about them too. Question is this though. When does it come to like somebody need to get checked? Because okay, like prime example, we we I'm gonna just use examples. We use an example like the Rick Ross song, the Sanctified song. Somebody can hear that and be like, "Yo, this is straight blasphemy." What are you talking about? Why are you saying yeah. that? But the the thing is, it's like for some people, they don't want to get disciple. Some people are like, "I'm good. My pastor know what I'm doing. He know I'm getting that check. I'm giving the check." And yes, I'm good. Uh, no, I'm seriously because some people that's think right. like that's what uh, if 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 I <laughs> if I get if, if I give you the money and then um Warp you messed up the them. Amen remix, man. <laughs> the track stars was going to do the Amen remix. Now <laughs> <laughs> Pisa already did it and he killed it. <laughs> so, but I just think that 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 that's the question to ask. Well, like, Rick Ross got saved on Coco Brother show back in the day. Wow. You remember that? You didn't hear yeah. that? <laughs> Coco got everybody <laughs> saying let, let me tell you who I've been in a prayer circle with With Coco, brother Coco, Young Jock Lil Scrappy, Bone Crusher And David Banner Who was praying? Uh, David so, Banner I knew he was about to say that That's I was about to say up. probably David, David Banner, Banner. That's what's up. I, can, I, can see, I can see him I can yeah. see him doing that Yeah, well, me too. Here's the thing If, if you knew If you knew like, give me somebody. I keep going to Kim. G- give me somebody else that you that you're worried about. Oh, somebody I'm worried about. Like Justin Timberlake or whatever. <laughs> I said Justin Bieber. Bieber, Bieber. <laughs> okay. So now, but like, okay. So the funny thing about this is that I think I think what I'm saying is like a cosign. You remember the you remember the kid from um, Two and a Half Men? You remember when he came out? He tweeted and was like, "Look, you know." I can't believe I've been a part of this for so many years of my life. The foolishness, the drunkenness, the women, Mm -hmm. all the bad things that that happened on that TV show. Let's go there, son. Oprah, let's go there. Oprah didn't say she was a Christian, did she? Yes, she did. She's professed that. Absolutely. She told told Jeff Majors on her show that she listens to Psalms uh, 23 every morning. But did she say she was a Christian? Yes. That does not mean that she's a Christian. But there's a video back in the day that she says that she doesn't believe that Jesus Christ is the only way. Well, like I said, did she say she was a Christian? <laughs> right. But, that, but did she say she was a Christian? That's a whole other topic because, you know, I think people throw around the word Christian and mean something totally different. I I'm, think it goes I've with never this, heard though. her say she was a Christian. I think this goes with that. I think that goes with yeah. it. She said it that day Jeff yeah. Majors was she, on the she show. She did? Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's go right. there. It's a big one. All right, Oprah. <laughs> Guess you're never going to be on your show. <laughs> um, Hot <Hot> work. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Oprah. I'm just <laughs> we may change this to Oprah Christian. Oh. Um, there you go. <laughs> Cuz that's 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 a big deal because she does say things that are completely different than the Bible. Yeah. Like yeah. completely different. And I've never heard her say that, but if she's claiming to be a Christian, that's Hold on. That's Hold on. It's almost the same thing about everybody else. I say what now? Is that the same thing about everybody else like Tyler Perry? Do we want to do we want to Ooh. Uh, we, we just I'm shut it down. I'm asking. Shut the show down. <laughs> I just asked we in Atlanta too. I just asked. That man was sending thugs to the door. <laughs> <laughs> See all them dudes you be putting in the show. <laughs> uh, I don't know about thugs. <laughs> well, they strong. <laughs> 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 yeah, I almost got caught doing something. Can't do that. <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. We got to we, we read our man Seiko's uh, <laughs> tweet. <laughs> <laughs> we going to get him in trouble. He ain't going to get no work in Atlanta. Okay. All right, Mr. Hollywood. So. <laughs> is there a game that people play to downplay Christianity when they're in the limelight, when they're an Oprah? Because not all your people agree and all your followers agree with you on certain things. Mm-hmm. Is there a, is there is that is that true? I think I think it's I think it's true. I think uh, not. I feel like people who are real Christians and like are in church every Sunday and they are very adamant in their discipleship. Mm-hmm. And the limelight will not because certain shows would dep- depend on what show they're on or what excuse me what network they're on. Yeah. Um, like what channel it is because there are people higher up that. Honestly, I ain't trying to hear it. Yeah. Which are the opposite side of us. Yeah. Uh, who run the show. So, I mean, it, it's a fine line that you kind of have to play in the sense that if you want to have a job or not down the line. Like, if you're just out there just got this, got this, got this, got this every time you're in an interview representing a show. Because you have to understand when you're an actor and, you're signed, and you sign that contract, you're representing that show or that brand right and okay. that that and that that brand is not a, a particular christian brand and that's all you're adverti- advertising and, and advocating while you're then that can cause a lot of issues that can okay. cause so i mean there's a fine line like i know like with me um i i put with the shows that i've done i've put no shame to it i mean like with freedom Rides, i thought it was a perfect platform to Exfoliate that particular yeah, dynamic of of my life and how I feel and, and my Christianity, and that's why it led a platform to where um, a lot of people who I was interviewing with or who interviewed me like agreed that that is that there is a space for it, but it's not enough people doing it, or it's not enough celebrities actually doing right. it or speaking up about it. Um, but honestly, I I've spoken up about it. Probably in almost every interview. Gotcha. Uh, you know, not overbearingly, but you know, I will say like I wouldn't be here without God type of stuff. You know, like, you know. Yeah, I mean that's tough. I mean the Oprah question is is the big one. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the big one. I, I did, all these little people we've been talking about. <laughs> 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 they went to Oprah. Oprah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's gonna shut us down. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> she own. She oh, own. She own. <laughs> yes, YouTube. Man. Yes, Jackson. man. Yes, man. Um, nah, but I mean that's a real question. Uh, subscribe. She got to be confronted with it by somebody. I don't think anybody's brave enough. Yeah, we don't get email. paid anyway, so I'll Send do it. Email, Sean. I will. Oprah, man, what's up with this Christianity thing, man? Um, be honest. Be honest. Don't say you're a Christian if if you don't really believe that Jesus Christ is the only way. That's what Christianity is. You know what I'm saying? I just think people just need to be honest. I I, I I love the fact that people are talking about God more. I just want people to realize what it is and what it isn't. I think when you get to a certain level of fame, it's hard to get the truth from people. I think she probably believes on the coexisting. You know those bumper stickers oh, yeah. that say coexist. Every, like, every, like the Baha'i faith. Yeah. Right. That's that's the faith where everything is good. All It's all good. Because... Cause, when you have so many fans, you don't want to say anything to make them that's mad. Yeah, you don't want to say anything to hurt them or lose them. Right. And I think that's a temptation for anybody who gets to a certain level is right. you don't want to lose your fans or alienate your fans, whatever. Even if you totally disagree with them, um, right. I don't even th- I don't even know if that's her issue. I think she really believes it. So I don't think she's putting on. I think she really believes that all ways are good. You know, everything is fine with everything. You know, I think that's who she is. So. Ah, 